Here we are now with uh, the trucks as part of Drawdown, ranked at number 40 by 2050 and 6.18 gigatons in reduced CO2. The net cost for the efficiency measures here uh, is $543.5 billion, but the net savings are quite high as well at $2.78 trillion dollars. Here is a nice modern concept. The concept uh, S-truck by man reduces fuel consumption by 25% compared to conventional 40-ton uh, trucks. The integrated truck-trailer combination is aerodynamically designed to reduce drag. So you can see the nice rounded features which reduce the uh, airflow uh, drag. Uh, and it also prevents cyclists from being dragged under the wheel. So there's a protection given here for them. Front windshield is greatly, uh, windshield greatly increases the visibility and safety. Uh, the problem of bicyclists is quite serious as trucks zip by at high speeds. Uh, they can get sucked in by the airflow that uh, follows so uh, this can be dangerous so that's why this design is meant to uh, protect them from being dragged under the wheels uh, in case there is an accident. To remind ourselves again we have looked at this a uh, few times already uh, in terms of emissions uh, road freight uh, trucks and lorries which are just based on the weight of the truck uh, is at 29.4 percent of the total uh, CO2 emission from transports. Uh, the sustainable development scenario requires by that by 2070 uh, all the emissions from transportations are reduced to these levels. Uh, so you can see here uh, medium and heavy trucks are in this reddish color. Uh, aviation remains uh, fairly constant here, but uh, the trucks and the shipping and passenger cars, two, three wheelers have all to uh, required are all required to reduce their uh, emissions. So dotted lines here indicate uh, the year in which various transport modes have largely stopped consuming fossil fuels and hence no longer contribute to direct emission of CO2 from fossil fuel combustion. So two, three wheelers here, rail stops here, light commercial vehicles here, but the trucks and passenger cars, buses, minibuses continue to consume some fossil fuels out here. Residual emissions in transport are compensated by negative, emi negative emissions technologies such as BECS, which is bioenergy with carbon capture and sequestration, and DAC, which is direct air capture in the power and other energy transformation sectors. There are also ideas being considered for uh, direct carbon capture in internal combustion engines, which obviously is uh, not to be seen as encouraging continued use of internal combustion engines. So we have already talked about electric vehicles and so on and so forth. This paper looked at some of the methods to lower and mitigate emissions from heavy duty trucks. So this considered heavy duty, light duty and uh, trucks. Uh, with polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. So the innovations are split into three categories, fuels and engine innovations, other innovations and methods to lower emissions, and infrastructure, route, spatial planning and control. So logistics of optimizing the, the travel times and the routes for trucks matters a lot as well. And obviously owners of trucks need to consider that to reduce their own fuel costs uh, on, on the whole. So motor innovations include electric motor, battery capacity and route planning and city deliveries. Uh, where the traffic uh, is high, uh, speeds are low, and so on and so forth. Uh, HDTs with new fuel solutions include fuel emission technologies, flex fuel vehicles, noticeable reduction in NOx, and particulate matter emissions, emission standards, uh, light natural gas, liquid natural gas trucks, methanol, biofuels, hydrogen, and so on and so forth. So I won't read through all of them, but uh, items like traffic control, traffic planning, spatial planning, uh, 
and of course here HDD is replaced with other innovations like pipelines, electric rails, electric ships, uh, etc. are considered as well. So there is a pretty uh, uh, comprehensive attention being paid to the contribution of trucks and as usual I forgot the last slide so I will uh, pause it here. Uh, so the final point about impacts is that if adoption of fuel saving technologies grows from let me put it in display mode goes uh, from 2% to 85% of trucks by 2050 this solution can deliver 6.2 gigatons of carbon dioxide emissions reductions an investment of uh, 544 billion to implement uh, could save 2.8 trillion on fuel costs over 30 years. I hope the rest of the lecture was done in display mode. Let me see.